Welcome to Water with Colin. And the reason I'm saying water is because I'm filming at a different time of day than I normally do at nighttime. So I thought it's best to drink water tonight. I'm done with my coffee, surprisingly. So anyway, I'm drinking some water and I'm going to talk about kind of a hot topic that I really haven't discussed on video. But before doing so, I feel like I need to just like get something out there because I hate like I feel like you guys are going to be watching this and you're going to be like, what's on her face? Why isn't she telling us about it? So anyways, when I get stressed out and you know, lately I think with the hip to help torn, just we've been real busy on hip to save and whatnot. And also kind of the issues this weekend that happened. That's what I'm going to talk about in a sec. That's kind of the hot topic. I just have been feeling a little bit stressed out. And whenever I get stressed out, I get a cold sore and it's really annoying because it's not a typical cold sore. It is. Okay, so it's like, it's not inside my mouth, it's on my lip. Last time I got one, it was like on the side of my lip, which wasn't so bad. This time it is smack dab in the middle of my lip. And the reason I'm saying this, because for all you out, all you people out there that get cold sores, I just want to say it's okay, because I get them too. I'm trying to make everyone that gets cold sores feel better, because if you've had one before, you know my pain. It's so like, it's just the worst place to have it, your lip. When people look at you, they're like, ew, what's on your lip? When I got my cold sore a couple months ago, I, you know, I feel the need to have everyone know that I have a cold sore on my lips so they know that I know. Because for some reason, I think they don't know that I know that I have a cold sore. So I almost want to like put something on my head that says like I have a cold sore. So whenever we had the postal guys come to the door, my husband would run away because he'd be embarrassed because he knew what I was going to say. And it would be before they even like gave me the package, I'd be like, listen, I know I have a cold sore on my lip. And they would look at me like, what? And I'm like, I know, you know, and I know you see it, but I know too. And they would be like, okay, here's your pack. If you have any advice for me on how to get rid of it quickly, because this is just the beginning, it gets worse. It like literally is, infects my whole lip. So what I have on hand here, I've, I've got some, this is stuff, and I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, liacin. I take this. This is supposed to help. I researched it. And of course, a Breva. And there's coupons for this, so I definitely use them when they are available. So the hot topic today is going to be about buy one get one free coupons and buy one get one free sales. Uh, with the, all these new couponers lately, I just feel like this with the Extreme Couponing Show that this is a great topic to discuss. I know it's kind of a confusing topic and a lot of people have different opinions, which is totally fine and there's kind of some gray area in there. So I'm going to kind of go over it all with you guys. Um, the first thing I'm just going to go over is a buy one get one free coupon. So buy one get one free coupons are awesome coupons. They can save you so much money. Basically, you are getting you buy one item and you are getting an item free up to a certain value and that value is listed on the coupon. So for example, I've got a degree coupon. It says up to $6 value. So that means you can't exceed that value. So let's say I was going into Walmart and the degree deodorants were two for $7. Or I mean, I'm sorry. And the degree deodorants were $7 each. When I use this coupon at checkout, I'm just going to be able to get $6 off. So I'm still paying $1 for that free deodorant. And the cashier will input that price in this box. Most buy one get one free coupons have a box where they're going to need to input the price. Sometimes buy one get one free coupons will automatically deduct the correct price. It will, the register will automatically do it. But for most part, most of the time they're going to have to put that in there. So you're going to want to keep that in mind what the prices are for the products you buy that are going to be, that you're using buy one get one free coupons on. So you can make sure you're not exceeding that max value. Okay. Another cool thing about a buy one get one free coupon, and you've seen that, seen this a lot on my site, is that when there's a buy one get one free sale at the store, you can actually use a buy one get one free coupon to get two items free. And for new couponers, I know that sounds, what? That doesn't make any sense. That probably sounds so confusing because how can you get two items free? Well, this is how it works. All right, giving you a little visual example here. So here's two degree deodorants. This is an example, so please remember that. Let's say they are on sale at some store. Buy one, get one free. So the store has a buy one, get one free sale. So you're getting one free because of the store sale. Well, then you go to checkout with these two deodorants and you give the cashier this a buy one get one free coupon. So even though you're getting one free from the store sale, according to the manufacturer, you're still buying two deodorants. So when this coupon's used, since you're buying one and getting one free, it's gonna make this one free. So basically you are walking out of the store paying nothing but tax for two deodorants. 
and the manufacturer is still happy because you're still following their coupon. The store's happy because this is like cash to the store. They're inputting this price and gonna get the same amount back just as if you paid cash for the other deodorant. So I think explaining that and understanding that, and understanding that is gonna make you feel a lot more confident about using this coupon. So wanna buy one, get one free sale. So that's how that works and that is awesome. I mean, at the drug stores, um, I post deals like this a lot and it's just a great way to get free items. One more example I wanna to mention too with um, a buy one, get one free store sale is that if you have two money off one coupon, so like a 75 cent off one um, degree deodorant coupon and you have two of these, it's gonna be the exact same thing. You're still buying both according to the manufacturer, even though one's free from the store sale. So you can use, still use two coupons on each of these because they are both being purchased, even if one is free. So hopefully that clarifies that confusion. If not, leave comments, let me know, and I can try to answer your questions. Um, I know I'm probably not the best at explaining this, but I'm trying, really am. Okay, so now to the really big hot topic that um, kind of had me a little stressed out this weekend because it really got me thinking about you know, morals and my values and what I feel, you know, making sure that I feel in my gut that I'm doing the right thing. And so, anyways, the issue is that people get very confused when um, you have a buy one, get one free coupon here and you want to use a money off coupon with it. And that the way people justify this and the way I have as well, the way I've done this as well as I've said, if you're using a buy one, get one free coupon, this coupon is valid towards the free item. And then I say, well, so since this coupon is for the free item, then I guess on the one I'm buying, I could use another money off coupon. Well, the problem is that lots of manufacturers have coupons coded a certain way. So for instance, some buy one, get one free coupons are gonna be coded to attach to both items, the free item and the one you're purchasing to get the item free. Some manufacturer coupons are coded just to attach to the free one. So you could technically use another money off coupon. I have for the longest time posted um, different deals using a buy one get one and a money off coupon. And you know, a lot of people are able to do them, a lot of people aren't. And every time I post them, honestly I do, and you know what, actually I'm gonna stop myself. I was reading one of the comments yesterday from a reader and she said something that really hit home with me. She said, every time I see, I love Colin's blog, I love her deals, but every time I see her post one of these deal scenarios, I get this like feeling in my gut. I just don't like the way it feels when she's doing that. And it hit home with me because I realized, you know what, whenever I post those deals, I kind of sit and think and I'm like, I don't know if I really feel comfortable with those deal scenarios because, you know, yeah, I could justify saying, well, this one goes with the free one, this one goes with the other one, but still there's just a gray area and they're an uneasy feeling for me knowing that this may not work for all of you and it, you know the manufacturer may not want the coupon to be used that way. And I could also sit here and go over how coupons are coded, but that's one thing I never want to do on my site. None of us should even know how to decode coupons. There's no point. You go by the wording on the coupon and then you go by what you feel is right. And that's really what you have to do. So I'm not going to tell you, oh, here's the coding if this is supposed to attach to two items and here's the coding if this is supposed to attach to one. I feel like if manufacturers or some manufacturers are coding coupons to attach to two, and I'm assuming probably most manufacturers don't want you using a buy one, get one, and a money off. And I know you're probably saying, well, Colin, you've been doing this forever, posting these deals. And you know what? I, I make mistakes all the time, and I've just thought long and hard about this, and I'm realizing more and more that it's probably not right. And the reason I did used to do is because that's kind of how I was taught. I saw it on blogs when I was learning to coupon, and I thought, wow, this is really cool. And it does save you more money on, in the deal scenarios. And of course, I want to save you guys as much money as possible, but I also want to do it ethically and you know, following my values and morals. And so I think I've just realized along the way that I'm not going to do it anymore. But before I go for any further, I do want to say if this is something you feel is right, then please, by all means, do it. This is just my opinion, and I want to make sure because there's so many new couponers from Extreme Couponing that I want to make sure that they're learning the right way and they're not, you know, getting very confused because I've had emails like, you know, Colin, this deal didn't work for me. The coupon beeped and or, you know, the, the coupon actually would have gone through, but the cashier stopped and said, you know, you can't use a buy one, get one with the money off because the buy one, get one's for both items. And in a sense, how can you argue with that? Because really a manufacturer could argue that you're getting the item free because you're buying one. So that basically means that it's attaching to both items because you're only getting it free if you buy one. So you could argue it like that or you could argue it by saying, well, no, this is just going, you know, this is attached to the free item, but since I'm still buying one, I can use the money off. 
so it, it's just all confusing and it's all it's kind of I feel bad because I'm not really directly answering your question all of your questions that have come in but I'm basically saying to you you're gonna have to go with what you feel is right I personally at this point I'm not gonna be posting any more deal scenarios that have a buy one get one and a money off and um, you know I hope that you guys understand and I'm sure a lot of you probably are in agreement because I know I've read a lot of comments and emails and you know and I agree with a lot of you guys and honestly a lot of you have opened my eyes I'm learning the ropes of couponing just like you all are I have done it for a while but there's definitely I make mistakes still and so I constantly learn from my readers and I thank you guys for that kind of opening my eyes up to this issue so that's about all I'm sure I've rambled enough um, hopefully I answered most questions when it comes to buy one get one free coupons Hopefully I haven't confused you more. If so, please leave a comment and let me know. And thanks for listening to me to vent about my uh, my cold sore because it's really bugging me. And thanks for letting me wear my PJs. This is honestly what I normally wear. And I will wear. see you guys next week. I think I'm going to be headed to the stores again. So stay tuned.